Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Victoria. If you're subscribed to this channel, thanks for subscribing. If you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, um, share if possible, and thank you so much. And also, guys, today's video is all about um, Babcock University. What you need to know about Babcock University, strength fees, accommodation, and what have you. And this YouTube video is actually for students that want to be Babcock University students, those that are still applying for Babcock University. So, guys, there's seven things you need to know about Babcock University. On our first list, we have accommodation. Um, uh, in accommodation, um, Babcock University has three sections when it comes to accommodation. We have the classic halls, the premium halls, and the regular halls. And guys, the classic halls are way, way expensive than the premium halls. The premium halls are also way expensive than the regular halls. So when, um, for the regular halls, we have Whitehall, Nyberg, Ogden, and for the premium halls, we have Crystal, we have platinum, yeah. Um, we have Havila, we have Marigold, and the rest of them. And also for the classic halls, we have Queen Esther and other halls. Bangkok University has so many girl hostels and guy hostels, and I can't actually start mentioning all of them right now. So, um, when it comes to accommodation, uh, Babcock makes accommodation for each and every student based on what you want to pay for. You can either pay for the classic, for the premium, or for the regular. It, it depends on you and it depends on what you really like. Second is feeding. Um, Babcock University can actually pay for um, three square meals like morning, breakfast, lunch, and dinner or supper. Or you can only pay for lunch and supper because. Some people actually don't like paying for breakfast because they usually miss it because of their, uh, like their early morning classes. So some people actually only pay for lunch and supper, like only pay for lunch and supper because I really don't feel like I'll be taking my breakfast because I already have beverage. So I usually don't pay for the breakfast because um, at times online classes or early morning classes in the, in the morning, you, are, you won't be able to go and get your breakfast. So I usually pay for lunch and supper. So it depends on you if you don't pay for breakfast lunch or supper or lunch or supper so yeah it depends on you and the prices are very different prices from lunch or supper is different from breakfast lunch and supper the babcock dress code um babcock dress code is actually very very standard for their girls you have to go on a short hair a hair above your shoulder or shoulder length also for girls you don't wear a uh, body hawk shirts or body hawk tops they usually don't allow it also you wear skirts that inches below your knee not above your knee because they don't allow short skirts in Babcock University and also Babcock University you have to be corporates like also wear trad and stuff like that in Babcock University they don't allow um, colored hair only black and brown whether it's attachments extensions or wig it has to be black or brown and it has to be shoulder length for the guys for the guys I, I can't really talk about the guys because it's, there's nothing much about the guys most of these um, rules are really meant for and mostly meant for girls even though yeah guys guys have their own rules but for the dressing code it more applies on the girls because we have lots of things to wear as a girl you have a lot of things to wear so uh for the guys you have to go on bushy hairs and also you have to dress corporates mornings are very very corporate you have to dress corporate before you leave the hall and yeah so a third on our list is the tuition fees um when it comes to tuition fees our school fees changes uh, and also school fees varies from uh, departments like you can't compare my school fees to someone that is studying law or someone that is studying uh, medicine and surgery so our school fees differ and also our school fees change and also you can't just determine a particular school fees for a particular year it can change can either increase or reduce it depends on the school and the school management so i can't really talk about tuition fees it depends on your department and also when they increase or decrease our school fees so the next on my list on my list is um, the babcock event um, in babcock we have so many events which are officials first um games nights and other events that usually happen in babcock university and babcock university when it comes to social activities they actually do so well social activities because it's actually something that um, eases stress from students. So we usually have a features fest where we invite um, some musicians that you, all, you guys all know. So yeah, that's basically what we do in Babcock. Events, features fair, game shows and all of that. So yeah. So guys, the last and not the least, we have the services. Um, Babcock University 
we take church so serious that we actually go to, um, to church like four times in a week i think so guys we go to church like four times in a week we go on tuesday evenings we go on friday evenings we go on saturday because our sabbath because backup is, is a sabbath church is a sabbath school sorry we go to our sabbath in the morning and then evening service that's simple to so four times in a week so yeah if you don't go to church that's going to be a very huge problem to you as a student you might come a whole year just to go to church alone you pay for every tuition fees accommodation and stuff like that and the only reason for it to come to school is just to go to church so we take our church services so serious so guys i've come to the end of this video i hope this video was so helpful and was so satisfying to all of you to any of you that wants to uh, be a backup student or is applying to be in babcock i hope i've mentioned all you need to know about backup university what you need to know and what to help you uh survive back on investing and also if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe comment like share uh if you have if you are, if you are a return subscriber thank you for tuning into this new video um continue to me in because we still have videos ahead um so yeah so guys i'll see you guys in my next video so bye